Welcome back to the channel guys, this is your boy Mustang Eddie and let me show you guys what I'm working with today. I'm finally going to drop my rear end, but let me show you guys. So I'm finally getting ready to drop the rear end to swap it over to the other one. I already have it on two jacks under the suffering connectors. I already took off one wheel. Let's we'll see how long it takes me, it shouldn't be too bad. Look how stiff it is. Shouldn't be like this. All right, this is how she looks currently without the wheel. As you can see, I just have slaughter rotors, h &R springs, my Tokido Blue, and as far as the rear end, um, stock rear end, it just has 373 gears, stock upper and lower control arms. So I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, removing anything that gets in the way, which is like, I have to remove the brakes, I have to disconnect the shock. So let's get to it. But I also wanted to point out how I will have it on neutral, no e-brake, and this is so stiff, it shouldn't be so stiff, so that's probably one reason why this car didn't feel too powerful, maybe the, the discs inside the rear end gave out, but we'll find out, I'll, I'll, test, I'll do the same test once I have the other rear end. It's gonna be a 15 millimeter socket. All right, guys. So I went and removed the brake bracket, the rotor, the spring, the sway bar. Here's the caliper. Here's the the shock. It's loose. I went and I already removed the bolts for the arm. I put two jacks to support the jack so it doesn't fall. So pretty much all I gotta do now is take out that bolt from the upper arm and I believe I need to remove four bolts from the drive shaft. Other than that, it's neat, that's it, but those bolts, 
are giving me a really hard time, so I'm probably gonna have to hit it with a, a, a impact. I don't know if you're ready to see, but that's the so everything already. It's out of the way. It's just those freaking bolts that need to come out. So I'm gonna go get an impact, hit them, and then remove the rear end. All right, guys, there you guys have it. I uh, finally was able to take out the rear end. I messed up. Like one of the first things I should have done was. I should have took out those four bolts. That way I didn't have to do this since I didn't have an impact in hand. But hey, this was the only option I had at this point. So probably tomorrow I'm gonna go hit it with a I'll hit it with an impact, get take that off and then put it on the other rear end. But kind of thinking I'm gonna wait off on installing it. You see you can see since everything's already wide open, I feel like I'm gonna probably just order some lower control arms and upper co control arms might as well. Uh, the bushings, the bushings don't look too bad. You can see this one on the lower, but on the upper, you might not be able to see, but let me see if you can see it, but the uppers are messed up. So since it's a lot easier, to change it now, I'll probably just do that now. Probably have the car down for one more week until they arrive, but uh, thinking upper control arms, lower control arms, and probably that's it for now. It just makes more sense to do it. But that's gonna be it for today, guys. Uh, learn from me, uh, take out those four bolts first, or at least uh, get them loose. So the last step is just to uh, loosen them up and take them out but uh i'll probably just order our new parts and do everything at once i was i was gonna install the rear end today and then maybe like in a few weeks replace the upper and lower control lines but it makes no sense since everything's already open so i'll probably do it now so stay tuned next video will probably be installing the new control arms upper and lower and then reinstalling the, the new rear end but until next time